Today I'm going to make a video about fascia bar, but this video wouldn't be completed or a complete uh, video until I show you how to replace the, how to use the skill saw. I can show you how to do fascia bar, but what about if I don't show you how do I use the skill saw? So a lot of people that use a chop saw, mm, I use the skill saw better, it's faster easier well it requires more skill but <clears throat> to me it's better usually the blade goes backwards like this see it it turns to the like clockwise so all the teeth are when you cut all the debris are are thrown to the front of the to the front of the uh, skill saw and the other way if you put it behind so it's not gonna work because all the the breeze is gonna get into your eyes. Usually, uh, f uh, framing uh, framing blades. And they have this is the the front side and this is the back side. And right here in the center, they have like a little. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It has like a little diamond cut that you have to remove. And this is the three things that you need to remove the blade. This is the, the bolt. In order for you to remove this bolt, you have to turn it to the to the right. Okay. Usually the skill saw comes with its own uh, range right here. But my guys, they remove it and they never put it back. You see, they took it. So, a lot of people, they use one of these wrenches. And they pry onto this and they remove it. But don't do it because this teeth. You damage the bolt and then later on you, you cannot use the uh, the wrench anymore the uh, or any uh, socket uh, the second thing you can well first thing don't use this please don't uh, you can use this but it's gonna be hard for you to do it so sometimes if you can do it if you can manage to use this thing I don't know how it's this called uh, this wrench it's recommended, you see it? Make sure it's tight. And then right here, it has a little push button that when you push it, it locks. It locks and then uh, it doesn't let the uh, this thing turn, okay? Before you uh, you even uh, try to uh, remove the, uh, the blade, you're gonna have to lift this up Put a nail here. I'm telling the kid that he's gonna remove this blade himself, so he's gonna learn from his own video because he doesn't even know how to do it. So the person who's gonna do this video, he doesn't even know how to remove the blade, but I'm gonna put him to do it today so he can learn from his own video. See, just lock it. Make sure the thing is disconnected because you can cause an accident. You can't. Don't connect this thing, okay? So remember, don't use this wrench, you can use this, and then turn it to the right, okay, and don't turn it, usually when you, when you loosen up things, you turn it to the left, but in this case, you turn it to the right. I'm going to try to remove it, there's a button over here, wait, 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 no, 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 there's a button over here, you have to push, okay, push it. This one No, right here. Look, right oh, here. I see it. So I'm teaching this kid how to do it. Push it, push it until it locks. Is it locked? Is it locked? Push the button. Don't, don't release the button. Yeah, pushing okay, it. Okay, pushing it until it's locked. Okay, there it's locked. Go. Okay, now turn. Turn, turn. Don't, don't release it. Alright. So he's having a hard time trying to remove the bolt with this fucking thing. So for that, I don't recommend you, so I recommend you to use a half inch, uh, uh, how do you call this? Uh, and then use this thing. And then make sure it's set to the right, and then you push, push. And you see, it's easier to remove it. Turn to the right. To the right, 
remove this thing make sure you don't lose this because if you lose it then you're fucked I'm <laughs> just kidding <laughs> uh, I use, usually use a Diablo but for instructional purposes I'm going to show you how to how to use this thing you see it's all effed up so remember the blade goes backwards the letters are going to face down like this and since this one has a little diamond thing this one has a little diamond thing in the center so you're going to have to cut the opening right there the thing you move this little thing in the center because some of the skills are there they don't have this diamond and then just place it where it fits you see it's the layers are facing down and then now you're gonna turn to the left like this okay and now you're gonna have to push the button again you're gonna push it right here push this thing until it locks a ver darle vuelta acá see I push it and then he's gonna he's gonna turn to his left tell me when it locks no it's okay just keep on going there that's it don't tie it too much okay so the blade runs this way so when you're cutting all the debris is is uh, is uh getting pushed that way okay so that's how you replace the blade right so first you gotta try the uh, the wrench that comes with the skill saws it's free it comes with it oh my guys lost it that's what you gotta try second option is to use uh, one of these things I, a bolt remover how do you call this fucking thing I'm not a mechanic so como se llama? Hex, uh, it's a hex, uh, uh, I don't know what this is called, but anyway, I paid like 14 bucks for this fucking thing. This is, this is an adapter for, but you can use just, just a half an inch. You can use one of these. Don't use this thing because you're gonna mess up this bolt. And to find this bolt, it's so hard, man. Unless you have some spare ones at home, then use them. Uh, try to use this if you can, but if you don't, then something is not going to damage the ball, it's going to be okay. Okay, this is my tools. Put back in. Put back in. By the way, I'm not going to use the, this uh, skill saw because the Diablo Diamond Blade is way better than this one. So, never, never put something in here when you cut, okay, because you can cause an accident. You have to let this uh, guard free to work by itself. Always test your uh, skill saws for the guard that works. Okay, you see it? You have to go back up, back down every time you, you see it. Same, same with this. Never do this. Okay, never. Don't do this, please. See some guys chopping up with their own fingers when they see this one's kind of like off a little bit. I can feel the the blade touching the thing. The, my guys drop it so many times, so they it's all uh, it's all crooked. But I'm gonna use that one today. They're both skill saw, so that's my favorite uh, brand from Milwaukee. I replace the uh, the connector because the one that comes with it it usually breaks, and then I put a a, a thicker uh, cable to it extension. It's better. So let's do it. We're gonna use uh, a speed square and a uh, uh, digital egg, uh, angle finder. This one you can. Uh, this is for the uh, cuts that are like in the in the corner, so you can find the the angle. So it's gonna be easier. If you're a frame, you don't need this one. So you only need this one. If you already know how to do fascia, all you need is this one to find everything. But if you're a rookie like me. You need one of these, so this one's gonna, and also a pencil, and a, and a stray blade. I'm gonna tell you why you need a stray blade, okay? And of course the skill saw and the fascia. We're using today are 16D, which equals to three and a half. 
galvanize hangnails okay please don't use guns on fascia I've seen a lot of fucking lazy contractors roofers they use a nail gun and then later they're patching up all their 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 mess with uh, with cocking or bundle whatever and it looks ugly because bundle whatever you put on the to cover the hole the nail hole it comes up because when the fascia gets wet it gets swollen and then it pops up all the silicone the bundle you put on so please um, don't use the nail gun okay hang nails are better for fascia okay so this is a bike for my pro fascia installer no just kidding I'm not a pro just a rookie trying to learn and show you this video okay guys next video before you start putting your fascia you gotta make sure that the the corner uh, rafter is a square take your square and make sure that's a square okay see it's square so you can do a straight cut right here and then the the 45 angle is gonna is gonna come from here and out so the 45 the inside cut of the 45 is gonna end up right here and then the corner is gonna stick out right here and then right here I'm gonna put another one that's gonna go all the way to the to the top over there okay I'm gonna start on this corner this is the corner okay so first of all I have to check if it's a uh, square take your square and put a flash see it it's flash see that so you don't need to do no, no fine no angle because this one is it's just flat even though this rafter it's in an angle when they cut it here it's it's plumb it's a level so it's a straight it's a straight cut so you don't have to do anything else and these nails that are sticking out you can get a, a nail clipper and clip them off so you get one of these nail clippers see it Okay. the ground the way you want to install it on the on the roof if you buy it if you buy it uh, already uh, primed the fascia has a smooth side and a rough this is a smooth a smooth and this is rough and this is rough okay so you can install it either way you can install it but make sure that if you install in the rough side out also there's a, a side on the bottom that's rough so these two sides they're supposed to be showing on the in the front. If you're gonna do a smooth, you can show this is smooth and this is smooth side, okay? So they get confused. So this is the way I want it, okay? And now I'm just gonna do my cut, my 45 angle cut right there. So it's gonna go on that angle. So before you do this, if you're gonna do a a, a 45 behind it. I'm gonna turn it around, get you a square, and mark it. Are you in this one? Yeah. You see it and mark it. And now you're gonna have to find the angle in your school. So make sure that make sure that the blade is all the way down, like this. Put it down. You lock it. Now found, find the, the 45 right here in the front, loosen it up and then just, just tilt it, tilt it, okay, this, when you find the angle, this is 45, this is 30, this is 15, and this is 5, so you're going to mark it to the 45, this little thing has to say, it says 45 right here. And then you lock it like this. And then you come, put your foot, and then get your finger like this. Raise the, the thing and just put a flash on this.
see that's a 45 angle. This one's gonna face that way. And it's gonna meet the other one right here. Okay, after that you measure the, the fascia, this is a 20 footer, and then you send someone on the other side, measure to grab into the next uh, uh, the next rafter before you get to 20. See this is 20 feet, so you can't go to the next rafter, so this is, you have to hang the tape measure onto the rafter, the other side rafter, and it gives you 235. 235, you're gonna you're gonna write it down on a piece of paper 235 and a half okay remember 235 and a half it's 86 and a quarter, and a quarter? write it down okay 86 and a quarter this is the last piece this is my 45 angle you see it's butted with the rafter 86 what? 86 and a quarter make sure that you write down your measurement on a piece of wood Otherwise you're gonna forget 86 and a quarter. 86 and a quarter. Measure it, Martin. Write it down. 86 and a quarter. 86 and a quarter. Okay, now put a piece of two by six piece of fascia left over. Put it underneath and then do your 45. So this is the end, okay? Measure from the end. Make sure that you have a 45 angle. Viene para acá, wey. So Martin is gonna do the cut. That's a 45. Perfect. You see, 45. This is how you do it. In order for you to get a 45, your the skills are usually like this. Like this. This is a straight, you see it? In order for you to put it on an angle, you have to tilt this thing. Tilt it. Tilt it like this, this way. Now, wait, my thing. Oh my God, help them to do it. Wait. Okay, push, 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 push this way. Push, push, yeah, like that. Perfect. Push, push, like that, perfect. It's supposed to look like this. Two nails for rafter. That's it. And then we, he's gonna go back and start nailing everything. Okay, Martin, just go back to the corner over there and start nailing. Alright. I'm gonna fix this corner. And then I'm gonna start from the other side. See you. A lot of people that said, oh, it's not gonna it's not gonna make it. When you put nails, see you bring them together. See? I'm bringing it together at this corner. I'm gonna put some nails on this side and it's gonna close. Watch. So we hit it from here. See it? See it? It's getting closer, closer, and closer. I'm gonna put another here, another here. And it's gonna be closed. And if you have a little piece of leftover, just get your straight blade and shave it off. 
Okay, like this. See? Now it looks completely Paint it, it's gonna look perfectly closed. And if it's necessary to close it more, just put an extra nail here, and that's gonna do the work, okay? We install two nails per per uh, uh, rafter. Later on, it's gonna get painted. So this is how it is.